She's called Tata Marathon, the grandmother of marathons, and with good reason too. She took up running at the age of 50, and this year, at the age of 64, completed a 96-kilometer race. On this episode of My Motivate, we take you back to this conversation with Tata Marathon at the Waterfront Karen. You've arrived. When we think about marathons, we're thinking about people in their 20s, in their 30s. But at 50, you started running. Kwanini? I started running at the age of 50. Uh, and what drove me to running, as all of you know that, especially lifestyle diseases, start at 50 or sometimes at 40. And the fear of uh, getting arthritis pushed me to running because I had uh, a painful knee, which I thought at least if I got arthritis, maybe I'll be grounded. And so I took up running. You're not a kawaida tata. Wewe ni shosho manyanga. Yes. I've heard you say that over and over again. But speaking about running, tell us about how you got started. Was there someone to help you? Or did you just get out of the house now, Kanza Kukimbia? I didn't have anybody to, to help me, but uh, because I was working in the medical field and I knew very well, if I don't pick up exercises, then I will be grounded. So I picked up running because it's, it's easy, it is just yourself. When I started running, my friends and my family thought I'm crazy and they <laughs> discouraged me. And a lot of people told me, how oh, can you run at the age of 50? You will die. <laughs> so uh, they, yeah, they didn't discourage me, but I, I still act. Uh, I still took up running and I went and ran and up to today I am still running uh, because I say that even if I don't run, maybe even that death may, may still come. So I continue You running. enjoy yourself. I really enjoy doing it. Uh, I started running by half marathon which is 21 kilometers and of course after running a few years I graduated and uh, started running 42 kilometers and my first 42 was in 2007 after venturing into running in 2004. I ventured into my first full marathon in Nairobi Standard Chart. Wow, so in three years, you progressed yeah. from little 100 meter sprints to 42 kilometers in three years. Yes, I did that. And then I, my second marathon, I ventured into the World Marathon Majors, which is Chicago. In 2008, I ventured and I went to run the Chicago Full Marathon. And I ran, went and ran and finished. And uh, in 2010, I was turning 56 years old. And there is this race in South Africa called the Two Oceans. And the Two Oceans is believed to be the most beautiful marathon in the world. And that was my greatest moment running 56 at 56. Because I will never be 56 again. And this race is in South Africa. It's 56 kilometers. And you finished it. And I ran for five hours, 35, and finished. And Fantastic. walked. Fantastic. And, yes. and walked the rest of the way. But even yes. so, you completed it. Yes, I, I did complete. And, uh, and, and I went back to the hotel by walking. <laughs> and uh, the reason that I have decided to run, not only for a medal, because most of these races, a lot of us runners, sometimes we run just to get a medal. I said it is much more than a medal. I cannot be running for 12 hours only to get a medal. I wanted to touch somebody's life. And I decided to, I chose this charity, which is uh, called the Shoe for Africa Children's Hospital, which is at the Boy Teaching Referral Hospital. This facility is the only uh, referral public uh, children's hospital we have in this country. Like south of Sahara, there are only two facilities which are public children's hospital, and these are in South Africa. So this is going to be the third facility south of Sahara, the children's hospital at the Moy Teaching Referral Hospital. And it is going to be, any child in Kenya should not die. Children will be referred all over the country and they can go and seek treatment there. And most of these monies that have uh, put up this facility, they have all come from runners, people who are running and putting the money there to have this facility work and give Kenyan children better quality health care. I'm running at the age of 64. I'm looking at the youth uh, who should be able to pick up running and they will be much better. The young people, even like you, Sheila, if you picked up running today, you'll be better at 64 than I am today at 64. So I would urge people to run and especially 
to run for charity because we have a lot of needs in this country. I belong to a group of recreational runners who are making a difference in people's lives because as we spend money to run, we are never paid to run. So we are getting into these races, uh, registering ourselves, uh, buying tickets, staying in, in hotels, and we are running for charities. So I would like at least more people when we say that at least we are raising money for charity, I will ask people to come in and support this worthy cause because we have a lot of needs. Uh, just uh, something to repeat, uh, the, this facility, the people who, have, uh, who are running, who have run and put up money in, in the, uh, the Shoe for Africa Children's Hospital. These are Mzungus who live outside this country. They do not know where Kenya is, yet they are raising money and saying we would like at least to be connected with that uh, public uh, children's hospital in Kenya. So. I urge Kenyans to come out and support. We've had a super season. Thank you to every guest who's made the time to share their journeys and thank you for watching. If you have a story worth sharing or you know someone who does, do drop me an email or let me know via my social media. Enjoy my Motivate in the meantime and see you in Season 6 of Sheila Lives Out Loud at the Waterfront Karen. You've arrived. <laughs>